Hey guys, welcome to the Kid Science Corner. Today I've got another awesome experiment for you, and I'm really excited for this one, like always. Um, and today we're doing a coral reef experiment, and uh, it's it's really it's really cool. And what you'll need for this experiment is you'll need a bowl, like. It doesn't matter which bowl, but it has to be like this. It can't be just like a plain bowl that you use to eat something. Um, and you also need like a white paper, just in case anything leaks. And if you have anything under like I do, just to see the coral reef and not see this. And you'll also need a little spoon. So this, is a, this has a small side, this is a big side. And we, we got that from this C, uh, C thousand chemistry lab, uh, which my uh, cousin sister gave to me, and you'll also need potassium hexocyanoferrate, which comes from this, and you'll also need copper sulfate. This is blue, which everything, every uh, every one of these powders is from this one. Um, and we also have some ammonium iron sulfate, which you can see right here. First step is to open these three powders. There is the ammonium iron sulfate. This is the copper sulfate. I mean, the potassium hexosulfate, sorry. This is the copper sulfate. There we go. Now, what we have to do is we have to pour our water into our bowl. You also need a glass of water. So you pour your water, or a bottle of water. Just pour it into your bowl. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little spoon and we're gonna take a little bit of these powders and pour it into the water. And then we're gonna wait for some time and see what happens. So there's uh, two sides. There's a big side of the spoon, a small side. You want to use a small side. Like the small circle side, you don't want to use this one, big one. Let's pour this one in first. Oops. You just pour that right in there. You put the cap back on. Now we're going to put the potassium hexosinoferrate. You want to put it a little close together. Like a little triangle. Now you want to put the copper sulfate. It's very pretty and blue. And now we're going to wait. See, it's already starting to form that blue and brownish um, little line. all those pretty colors you see there, that reminds me of a coral reef. And um, do you see how it's spreading there? The colors are spreading. And that another way to say it is that it's diffusion. And do you know a coral reef actually protects humans? If any tsunami comes or big wave comes, then the then the coral reef is exactly like rocks. Do you know how rocks block things from coming? Uh, the coral reef stops big waves or like tsunamis from coming. Um, and that makes the humans safe. But if you destroy the coral reef by throwing trash in it or throwing anything that's not needed in the coral reef, if you throw that in the coral reef, then the coral reef will be destroyed and nothing will protect it if any tsunami or wave comes or big wave comes. And this is actually a chemical reaction experiment. 
Thank you guys so much for watching the Kid Science Corner. I had so much fun doing this experiment. I hope you do too. Please do this experiment too. And if you do, send me pictures and videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!